The tarnished plant bug has replaced the boll weevil as the number one pest of cotton, with growers facing the largest outbreak in years. As this year's cotton crop begins to emerge, farmers are already facing a significant threat to yields and profitability. The tarnished plant bug. With boll weevil eradication and the, and the development of, of technologies like Bogard II, you know, the transgenic cottons, uh, the plant bug has become the number one pest of cotton and, and the most destructive pest of cotton per, for cotton producers, not only in Arkansas, but throughout the Mid-South. Gus Lorenz is an entomologist for the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. He anticipated the larger numbers of plant bugs as a result of the unusually mild winter and says they will definitely impact cotton farmers' cost of production. Our growers could easily be looking at, at you know, even eight to nine applications this year and at a cost of uh, 10 to $12 uh, per treatment. You know, the, the profitability there for our growers is obviously at risk in that situation. Lorenz says weeds and wildflowers serve as spring hosts for the destructive pests, which are similar to stink bugs. Then when the cotton plant begins to fruit and put on squares, they feed on the squares, causing them to fall off. They can also cause misshapen bowls, as well as bowl loss, significantly affecting yield. Well, our studies here on, on the Cotton Branch Experiment Station at Mariana, we commonly show anywhere from a 600 pounds to a 1,000 pound yield loss. These are, that can be very devastating insects and, and cause uh, uh, easily 50, 60 percent yield loss. Looked at the, the efficacy of our current insecticides and, and, and our studies have shown us that with the currently labeled products that are out there, we're really not achieving the level of control to, to uh, entirely uh, cut economic yield loss. Uh, so we're leaving some cotton uh, on the table because we're not achieving the level of control for plant bugs that we want with the currently labeled products that are on the market. Corn can also serve as a host for plant bugs when it reaches the silking stage. And Lorenz advised cotton farmers to avoid planting their crop next to corn if possible. He says they're planting their own cotton crop at the research station in Mariana to screen products that are available and determine which ones work best for controlling this pest. In the meantime, he says growers should budget for additional pesticide applications this summer.